All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Patter Tisman, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. All right, guys, time to review a big, beautiful, so well done beast from Best Tech. By the way, this is the Knives Fast channel. Check me out here. Uh, subscribe, notification bell, and hit that at in front of it on Instagram, and go check out the Knives Fast channel on Instagram. This was sent to me by way of Best Tech through the uh, through their pass around group. This is the Keen Two guys. I missed this one somewhere along the line, and I am very excited to have been able to check this beautiful beast out guys i don't know what kind of carbon fiber this is but this might be one of my favorite carbon fiber i've seen it's like a marbled or shred carbon fiber but it just picks up the light so well it is gorgeous you got these three milling lines here same thing on the titanium now i know some of you guys don't care for the for the uh, knives that have different materials on each side uh for me i it doesn't bother me at all you have this contoured gorgeous carbon fiber on this side and then you have the grayish uh g10 i mean g10 uh titanium on this side and you have like cut in uh you know um uh jimping on the back side there very very nice again same thing beautiful contouring great uh looking satin hardware you have a titanium clip uh, and it is, uh, you got about that much sticking, whoa, you got about that much sticking out of the pocket. You do have a lanyard hole back here. It is very thin. Um, I don't know if the thicker paracord would fit through that or not, but it might. It is part of the backspacer, as you can see, titanium backspacer. Um, now your clip does not reverse, and I will tell you this clip is very light. Um, once it's in the pocket, I mean, it's not going to easily come out, but it goes in very light. It comes out very light, does not have a lot of retention to it. Very springy, as you can see. Um, you do have a frame lock here with a lock bar interface, and there is your uh, external cutout for the lock bar. Thumb studs is your deployment, and you have a little like nail nick or fuller there that also can be used to deploy the knife. Uh, big beast of a knife. I mean, this thing is just a beast. So, uh, you know, but feels really good in the hand, has good grip to it. Very beautiful knife. Now, uh, when we do the thumb studs, you can tell, guys, it's best tech. Uh, by the way, writing on bearings, very much so. Uh, and you can tell that detent is dialed absolutely crazy. It is good. And then you can see we drop. Yeah. Very smooth. Extremely, extremely smooth. Uh, big, heavy blade just going to go home. Uh, you can see there how it's cut out uh, to meet up with the stop pin. Plenty of room there for that. Locks up really tightly and nicely there. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Now your, uh, your tang there comes in and sits right inside. And uh, same thing back here hits the stop pin again. So just a gorgeous, I mean, that carbon fiber is beautiful. Now, uh, you can, again, this is a big blade, so it takes a lot to get it going. But you can definitely middle finger flick it with that. You can, you can also thumb flick it with that uh, fuller very easily, no problem whatsoever. Just like I said, on the middle finger flick, it takes some juice to, to kind of build up and get it going. Uh, but it definitely goes. You got a great sharpening choil there. Your plunge is definitely out of sight. Best Tech logo. Uh, satin, I mean, excuse me, stonewash here and satin up here. And kind of a bead blast inside the hole. You do have also satin on your swedge. Um, guys, this thing is crazy. You do have um, your S35VN steel there. And your name of your designer, who eludes me at the current second, but we will get it when we get to the specs, um, hopefully. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go over here to uh, Knife Center, just because I think they usually, some of these companies don't list the uh, the designer. 
and I have totally forgot who this designer is and it doesn't say. So whoever the designer is, hopefully those of you with better eyes than me uh, can read that. Uh, definitely has like a crown or something going on. Yeah, I cannot read it. So uh, whoever that is, great job on this knife. Fantastic, fantastic job. So let's let's talk about specs. Um, now again, let's just make sure I got the carbon fiber version. I do. Um, and these are in stock and they are $300, okay? Uh, MSRP is $350 and they are $300. You've got carbon fiber, titanium, and uh, S35. Uh, now, this is a 4.19 inch blade. The cutting length is 4.17 uh, of an inch. Close length is 5.67 inches. And uh, the blade material, again, is S35. The overall, guys, is 9.8. You can see it won't sit down in my, in my box here. Um, it is almost a 10 inch knife. The blade thickness is 0.17. Very thick, as you can see here. But because you have a taller flat grind, it does come down still with very decent geometry. Cuts well. It is a clip point, two-tone satin and stone wash, which I think looks absolutely brilliant and gorgeous. Um, carbon fiber and bead blast titanium. Uh, tip up, right-hand carry, made in China, 5.2 ounces, as you can see now. Is it a four-finger knife? It's... Uh, like an eight finger knife. No, it's about uh, five or so at least. Plenty of room. You got a swell there in the middle, and that feels great. It's also uh, kind of got some swell this way uh, and just fills up my paws. Uh, very nice. And you're kind of locked in between this guard and between where it rises back here very nicely. You don't even, again, the, the advantage of this clip is you don't really feel it in the grip. Uh, it is good. Now, you do have, you're locked in on this jimping there, but there's no jimping up here on the blade. So if you want to be up on the blade, uh, you just are locked in with that nice flat uh, top to the spine there. But man, this thing feels great. I mean, it for such a big knife, it just feels really nice in the hand. All right, here we go. I almost stabbed myself there. Uh, yes, it is a cutter. It's a piercer, as you can see. Uh, just a great, great knife. Look at that. Did you see that? It is just a material eater. Uh, yes, please. Uh, so I really like this knife. Now, I know a lot of folks don't like larger knives like this. Um, but guys, I gotta tell you, 5.2 ounces, but this size, nice and smooth, thin down in the pocket for the size of it, um, feels great as a carry. I mean, it really does. It, it carried very nicely. It didn't, you know, I, I was worried about that retention and it kind of bouncing around, but it didn't really do that. Uh, it is centered. Uh, again, when it locks up, it is locked up. It is like a 35 there. And no way, man. It is not moving. It is absolutely locked uh, like a bank vault. And again, now I'm going to have to flip this tray over because it's too small uh, for the knife to fit. So we'll do that. And then we're going to show you our Rat 1, which has been now dwarfed uh, by this thing. Uh, because again, this is almost 10 inches. This is like eight and a half. And then it absolutely just... Uh, just shadows the uh, rat two as well. Um, and then I think I showed these in the unboxing, but I'm going to do it anyway. Here is my Hoback Goliath, which, uh, excuse me, Goliath uh, Summit, which is a 10 inch knife uh, right at about the same, you can see. And then uh, the Civivi Bull Mastiff, uh, which looks small compared to this guy. So there are your large knives. Oh, you know what? I'm also carrying today. Let's put this out here. Here is the White Mountain Knives exclusive uh, Kaiser Bag Glider XL button lock. And you can see uh, that is a little bit smaller than the Keen too. So I don't know guys, I kind of dig the size. I think it's pretty much an absolute beast. So uh, what do you guys think? Again, $300, so I know that puts it outside of quite a few people's uh, price range, but I don't think it's out of line in any way, shape, or form. Uh, S35, 
beautiful carbon fiber. By the way, I forgot to mention uh, this side is not uh, does not have a liner at all. It is just solid carbon fiber, and your weight and strength is being carried by the titanium on this side, which I think is a great option. Again, 10-inch knife and just over 5 ounces, uh, so I will take that all day long. So what do you guys think of this one? Let me know down there in the comments. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm really happy that Best Tech sent this one along for me to check out. Thank you uh, guys there, and we'll be passing this to the next channel. Uh, again, thumbs up, comment, all the things, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. Uh, definitely uh, thank you so much for all your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.